So to insert a marker, you just go to the point in the uh, track here that where you want the marker to be inserted. So we can uh, just go ahead and zoom in at the current cursor position. So we can do that by hitting zoom in or zoom out here or control one, control three. So control one is zoom in, control three is zoom out. So we'll zoom in here and uh, let's say we start right there for our first marker. So we do control B and it creates a label track down here and it's sitting here waiting in the side of this text box right there waiting for me to give it a name. So we'll call this label one. And then we go to our next position and we can insert another label. So let's say we want to put it here and of course we can play our, our audio to see and try to find the exact point where we want it to be put in. Um, we can also zoom in further in case uh, we need to find a better place where maybe the volume goes down lower, such as right there. But for this test, we're going to move it to about right here. So then we'll do our control B and we'll call this label two. And I want to zoom in a little more. So control one. So our next uh, thing we'll do is let's, let's export this. So we're going to do export multiple and we want to choose our format and wave is um, if you want something uncompressed, a very, very high quality um, type of file, you would choose a wave. A FLAC is another good one. Um, it's they're very, they're lossless file types. Uh, MP3 files, however, are very high compression. They call them lousy file types. So we have some options down here, include audio before first label. So um, let's drag this out of the way. So do we want to include everything before the first label? If we did, we check that box. And then over here you have name files. So using label and track name, or we could choose to name the files, uh, putting a number before the track or label name. So two and then the, the name of the track or the name of the label, if a label exists, and then uh, numbering after file means uh, you can go down here and actually give it a file name and and, uh, and then it will append a number to it. So we're just going to use uh, using labels. And do we want to overwrite existing? So that's pretty self-explanatory. And next over here we want to choose a location. So we're going to, um, let's choose a location for this. Um, and I think right now this file is actually being stored. If I can find something quickly. Let's see here. It's being stored right in here, if I recall, in audio. So let's choose OK. And so now we're ready to click Export. And so based on these settings, it's going to create a file for label 1 and label 2. Now label one is going to consist from the starting point here of the first label to the starting point of the second label. And then label two will start at the where label two actually starts and it'll end at the end of the file. So it's going to be label two is going to be pretty large. So we'll go ahead and do export and then it prompts me for my metadata and I can do that for each one of my labels. And then we're just going to click OK for label one, OK for label two and it goes through and creates the files and it tells us exactly where it put them and so we'll click OK and if we go out here we can now see we have our label 1 and label 2. Um, label 1 is only uh, uh, just less than 6 megabytes label 2 is just under 100. Okay we can take this a step further and actually create label regions if you will. Now there's a couple different ways to do that. Uh, one way is simply to select a region here and um, you know obviously we can adjust how big that region is very easily here we can and we can zoom in and out we can tell it to go ahead and, and, and play and try to find our points that way. Um, and then once we've got our selection we can just do control B and as you can see it's going to do this whole thing as a region so we're going to say um, look, let's call this region um, region 1. And if I click off of that and I go back and I click on the title here, region 1, you can see it shows me the entire selection. 
and if I click somewhere down here it doesn't so I actually have to click on the name over here if I do it on label one it's it's not a uh, region so it's it's simply um, just clicking on the starting point where that actual actual marker is so let's go over to if, if we wanted to we could actually go back to label one here and actually create a region just right off of this marker and the way you do that is you grab this uh, the arrow pointing to the right here and you just drag this and you can see at the top here it's actually creating a region as I drag that now I've got to be careful I let go and you can see it created a little um, ball if you will here and I've got to be sure that I grab the arrow and you can see it turns white there if I move from one to the other the ball and the white so let's grab or the arrow so we're going to grab that and now it's a little easier to see and so now we've actually label one is actually a region uh, if I click off of it and go ahead and click back on it you can see there's my region now what happens if I were to grab the ball right here well let's go ahead and try it it basically time shifts my region if you will it kind of slides it around to different uh, areas within the track so most of the time I'm, I'm, get, I'm assuming that isn't going to be the preferred way of doing it you want to simply go in and kind of fine-tune your selection a little bit here now of course we could go up here and simply choose uh, export selection and it would only take that selection that we have right there and allow us to choose a file type and go ahead and export that a cool thing we could also do up here is we could go down to export labels and this will actually create a text file let's let's go ahead and try that and see what happens here and so there's the text file it just created and basically what you're getting here is the starting and ending point for each region uh, or label so you, region 1 starts at uh, 9 and seconds and ends at 24 and so on and so forth so we'll exit out of that let's go back okay so let's go in and create a region out of label number two here and it looks like uh, I lost the number two so I'll just edit that and enter and let's go ahead and grab the little arrow here and make this a little bigger and you can see now we've got a full region there so we've actually got three regions our labels don't um, identify uh, those uh, accordingly but who cares so we're gonna go ahead and export again we're gonna do export multiple and we want to do labels and we're going to do to away file and list location using the label slash track name and uh, we'll overwrite any existing and let's go ahead and export and it's prompting me for each label and I click OK and it tells me that it successfully created it so now what we got here is just these three regions have been exported just these three pieces of the file uh, we've actually created three separate files named accordingly so it's a great way to create uh, multiple clips from just one track of audio we can also do something else we can go into tracks and choose edit labels and just like you saw in that text file these are the starting and ending points uh, for each one of my labels and actually actually go in here and modify these as needed um, I can even go in and create new ones um, new regions so I can do if I'm on track number two I can insert another one right here give it a name and the starting and ending time or I can go up here and say insert it before um, I can remove them at will um, so it's it's pretty cool it's a very very powerful feature now